I'm Linnea Tillett. I'm the principal of Tillett Lighting Design, which is based in New York. Um, we're primarily, uh, primarily but not exclusively, a landscape lighting firm. Um, we work around the country. We have projects in down south in Texas, in Ohio, in Arkansas. Um, so there's quite a lot of traveling and, and thinking about context. We've actually been in business um, apparently since 1983, which is <laughs> shocking, <laughs> and gone through many changes. But um, this last uh, since 2000, we've been we've been really focusing on on the kind of unique challenges of lighting landscape in a way that is. Um, I hope this is the hallmark of our firm that is sensitive to the needs of other species, ecologically sensitive, um, robust, and um, we try to use as little light as possible. Um, so, so specifically today, we, we're going to talk um, to your team about mentoring, mm -hmm. um, uh, the importance of mentoring, or um, that kind of thing. So, if we start off by um, sort of asking how maybe you would define mentoring. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we started a conversation, Janet and I, because you know, mentoring in the broader sense is in is. It seems to me is, is something where you are without self-interest, without any advantage to yourself, choosing to develop someone else across a range of skills, as well as give them the opportunities to perhaps meet the people that you typically, they would not typically meet, who might also be helpful. Um, and so that in the, that would be the broadest sense of it, and I can imagine, I think because I was a teacher for many years, I would say that that was more a role that I, I suppose I filled. Um, you know, so I would advise students on what firms I thought they might go to, and you know, there it, it's a more broader base. Mentoring within a firm is different, and so Janet said to me the other day, um, well, what's the difference between that and on-the-job training? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, I think that's the way I think of mentoring in like my capacity would be um, developing people's skills on the job and and teaching them short help hopefully shortening their training period so they don't have to go through necessarily all the same <laughs> mistakes or the same type of uh, uh, exercises. You know, it's just giving them that information and develop seeing their helping them develop those skills that they're good at and ones that they might need um, extra training in. So it's not so much the career guidance type of mentoring, but the mentoring of, of the training of, of the discipline. Why do you think it's important to that, that you might have a mentor or that mentoring exists? I think uh, having a mentor or someone act as a mentor provides a, a bit of a framework um, so that there is a bit of guidance and, and they can set up challenges for you to develop uh, and grow, but also provide sort of a sort of a support net um, in the event that you know you do make the mistake and and I think that gives you the confidence um, to sort of go out there and, and, and try uh, knowing that you have a support but also a safety net. I'm not sure that mentoring for me was that clear that this person is mentoring me but um, let me go back to my experience in Asia a little bit. I was practicing in the landscape design firm and I had this person who's also um, from Thailand. Her, her characteristic is very close to me. She's a few years older than me, and she was a senior associate there. So I kind of pair up with her because of the our lifestyle is very close. Our character is very close, and she's kind of like slowly guiding me to how I should work and what kind of work that I should produce. Mm -hmm. More like I'm kind of watching her from very close distance and follow or learn from her. So she had shown me a lot of, um, how do I say, experience and how should I, not only in the firm but also in the lifestyle, which also support my um, career experience. And here, 
I mean, um, it's great to be in this office. Our lifestyle is kind of like very close to not as much as I have there, but I think that's kind of like something that I grew up myself of mentoring by um, getting close to people and watch and learn what's it's good side, what's bad side. There's no bad side, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so sort of like you can have me a, a mentor without it being an official, like it's not, yeah. Yeah. you know, no one sat down and said, oh, I'm your mentor, you're yeah. mentor right. but that you look to someone. it's something that yeah. I search for or mm -hmm. look for myself. Yeah. I mean, just as a, I to sort of wrap up, is what, what do you think of our project and, you know, what, any thoughts on it or about being a woman in lighting in general? It's been interesting. It's been ever evolving you know I started my professional career in design um, you know, over 10 years ago and it's really interesting to see the evolution of you know what it is to be a woman in design in a professional world um, typically um, with most of the people that you work with being men and then over the course of the last decade it's just completely changing and um, you know, the first job I went on, um, I felt very uncomfortable. Um, it was, you know, five men and myself, and I just felt very out of place. And from then, and you know, gaining confidence working with, you know, uh, majority women-owned businesses, it's my confidence level has kind of soared, and it's just been really fun. I think you made an impact on us that we sat down and actually talked about it, which I thought was so helpful. And and I, you know, I had that, you know, that sort of like, oh, I could have, someone, people who've reached out to me, I'm like, oh, that's right, I could introduce them to Jeannie and to Quan and to Janet in a way that I, I think I was a bit blinkered about. So I, I think it's actually, it's, it, it, it started a good conversation here also about our responsibilities, mm -hmm. you know, in a broader yeah. sense. Not well, now that we've met you, if we come across someone that fits your profile, <laughs> <laughs> we'll be matchmaking. Okay. Yeah. Well, we, we actually thought, it's sweet. when we talked about it, we were thinking, do maybe we need a, do we need a formal mentoring plan? Because we hadn't really ever talked about that. No. So it raised the it issue raised about a formal Yeah. We appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a great project. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. It's really nice you. chatting to you. Nice chatting with you. We appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> Great.